Hi, it's me again with Curled Roll Tips and Tricks, and I was not going to do another one of these. And this one is going to be totally different. I had somebody send me all these. All these, but uh, one of these I drew. That one, well, regardless, I think I took it away. Uh, these aren't accomplishing what we were going to do yesterday by cutting out these squares. But if you look at this one right here, pretty intriguing how the pattern just kind of sweeps and they are diamonds. And if you did this and uh, right click no outline, and then you could cut these out and that would be a pretty unique pattern, almost like we did last night. But how he drew these were pretty neat and ingenious and there's a couple little shortcuts. Hold down the control button, make a perfect square. Let's make this one 10 inches. Hit P, put it in the center of the page. Control D and make another one and make it five. And then a simple way to do this is to get it to that left-hand side is just select them both and hit L on your keyboard. Then take that smaller one and double click and move the rotation to the center. And then control D and make a duplicate and rotate it just 10 degrees. And then keep control D or use your rotation docker to do this. Well, I mean, voila, look at the diamonds. And you could very easily use this shape however you wanted, you know, fill them in. Um, you know, if you wanted to, you could, if you're not having to cut them out, you could uh, fill in every other one or you could fill in like this or however you wanted to do it. But if you wanted to cut them out, you'd have to, you know, make this pattern or whatever. And then he also did something that's pretty unique. He also made one with rings around it. So there's rings and then it splits the diamonds up. And I'm haven't really done it yet, I don't know, because every ring is gonna be a little different in thickness. But if we can grab that outer ellipse, and when you click on it, it says ellipse right there, control D and make a duplicate. And then from the corner, holding down the shift key, I wasn't looking, I wasn't holding down the shift key, and get about to that intersection. And then I wouldn't use control D because it's gonna uh, change it to another setting. So now we're gonna use control D again. And well, that time it worked, but see that time it's not gonna work because the angles are different every time. Hold down the shift key and bring that back out, which helps it grow from the center. And I actually left one out right there. So control D or hit the plus key on your keyboard and grow. I got them both. Hit the plus key on your keyboard, hold down the shift key. And so you're making rings that are gonna, and if you got it dead on, uh, I really wish I would ask him how he, how he got it dead on. Uh, Cause I think you're pretty much gonna have to go out of these corners. And by the time you do that, you're, you're zoomed out so much, you can't really see it. Make sure you get that line. Hold down the shift key. So you've got to you've got to go from these corners, and then by that time it might. Uh, and holding down the shift key, it might be out of the. You can't really zoom in. You can't really see it. Um, so maybe he'll maybe maybe I'll make another one yet to figure out how to get those rings perfect, and you could just. You know, there's a bunch of things you could do. Use the, uh, you know, measure them. Um, but because he's dead on with this one right here. Whoop. Let's zoom in here and look. Just a total different. See, these, these are probably all going to be the same distance, but when they get up here, they're a different distance. So this would make a pretty cool artwork. It actually looks like it's kind of rounded. But some of these are really unique, how he did it with colors and shading of colors. And, you know, here's, you know, that would look pretty neat printed, or you could always select it all and right click no lines. 
And that would, that almost look like a spear coming at you. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.